Well, I got started like a lot of people when I was a child, and I would shut the bedroom door and hole up in there and do projects and not come out for hours, which is very similar to what happens now. Um, but back then, I worked with drawing and painting and collage, and then over the years, I tried all these different mediums, and it's funny because now I'm working again with drawing, painting, and collage. So it's like I've gone back to what I loved when I was like 10 years old, but... Um, uh, I minored in art in college, and I was too afraid to major in it, like to actually say that I was going to be an artist for a career. Uh, so I worked in advertising and marketing and did other things, then had children, and was still making a lot of art. Uh, then about 12 years ago, I decided that I couldn't stop. Like I think a lot of artists you'll hear you'll hear us say that we're just compelled to make it. And so some people have two or three jobs and one of them is their, their art job um, because they just can't stop. As you know, it's hard to capture all the ways that art impacts my life um, and yours. Um, it changes the way I see everything. Uh, so it could be something like abstract and conceptual, like how I see the passage of time and how we all seem to be living in multiple realities with really different perspectives um, from each other, all the way to something more concrete like um, the bloom of an orchid. If you've, ever, if you've ever looked inside of an orchid, it's such a miracle. So um, when you're making art, you start to notice things like that. And it's, so it's made me a more thoughtful, observant person. Um, and one component that speaks to the power of art, and Rick and I might get to this again later, because uh, I think she's into all this stuff, is um, it introduces us to the perspectives of others. And I think especially in a really divisive time like this, hearing and learning about other people's perspectives is crucial. 